Long distance swimmer Diana Nyad is plowing through stormy seas at this hour, trying one more time to complete the marathon journey from Cuba to Florida. She wants to arrive in the Florida Keys before her birthday on Wednesday. As Tammy Leitner reports, it's a dangerous effort for an athlete of any age. There's nothing but miles and miles of lonely ocean ahead for Diana Nyad. The 62 year old endurance swimmer is two days into her 103 mile trek her fourth attempt to swim the shark infested waters from Cuba to the Florida Keys. So I'm, I'm sort of cruising a little bit right now. To combat the monotony, she sings. I tried to telephone, they said she was not home, that's a lie. Swimming more than 100 miles in the ocean is challenging enough, but making it even more dangerous for Diana Nyad is what's in the water. And there's jellyfish and there's things stinging her and there's the possibility of sharks. Former world champion triathlete Siri Lindley knows Nyad personally and the challenges that forced her to pull out of the other three attempts. Nyad's last attempt ended with paralyzing jellyfish stings and an asthma attack. When you're out there and you've been swimming 28 hours and you're being stung by jellyfish and you're getting tired and hungry and you're feeling seasick and your shoulders are hurting. I mean, that's when your mind takes over and it's got to be keeping you going. And Nyad keeps going, despite getting stung Saturday night four times by jellyfish. The special suit she wears at night did little to protect her from the dangerous jellyfish stings. After getting stung on the lips and forehead, she flipped over onto her back. Six, seven, eight hours that backstroke. I, I never do backstroke either. Despite the obstacles, whether she makes it or not, just the persistence she's shown, the strength she's shown, the fearlessness, that's so inspiring. For CBS This Morning, I'm Tammy Leitner in Los Angeles.